I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not quitting. And I'm getting this word out in Jesus' name. Amen. Faith speaks the vision. And frustration speaks the problems. So you have to identify where you're at. And then it's going to be up to you. There are bitter battles that come to us in life. Is there anyone here today that has lived life and there has not been a bitter battle in your life? I want to see your hand. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the quickest way, the quickest way to get your joy returned to you and have fun and enjoy in life in the midst of adversity, in the midst of the battles of your life, amen, is to return to your passion. What are you passionate about? Have you left your passion? Have you left that vision? Some of you may not even know what your passion is, but if you'll hang around the word long enough, you'll find out what it is. Can you say amen? amen. <clears throat> so you need to, you know, like with those cell phones, you know how you can reboot it and everything? and refresh. Have you ever seen that? Well, I'm going to tell you, some of us need to refocus and to refresh in what God has for us and start having fun again and enjoying life. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 And I'm going to tell you what, other people cannot control your destiny and your joy and your fun unless you allow them to. Amen. And we're, this battle that we're facing in the world, the Bible tells us in Ephesians that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It's not against people. People are not your problem. The enemy is your problem. Amen. But I'm here to tell you too that Jesus Christ has given us power, delegated authority over all the power of the enemy. And whatever is behind people that are doing things they shouldn't be doing, you need to start praying for them and speaking the word and binding the enemy. Because the Bible says, say the Bible says, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. How many of you are believers? How many of you believe this word is true and it cannot lie? Amen. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word will remain. Amen. Amen. And you start loosening the power and the anointing on that person. Jesus said what to do with your enemies. He said bless them, and that means to speak well of them. Is that easy? No. That's where your battle's at a lot of times. So here's the question today. Where do I go from here? You're either in faith or you're in frustration. Where are we going to go from here? Every person has a choice. And faith begins where the will of God is known. Faith begins where the will of God is known. And we know that it's his will. The Bible says that no one should perish. Amen. Amen. So if that's all you've got, start on that right there. We know that it's God's will that no one would perish. And you can find out where you fit in. Amen. And every person, say every person. Has a divine destiny that God has for them. And if you want to fulfill your destiny, you've got to realize that God has a God designed purpose and a plan, and you can't ex achieve what you don't know that you have. Amen. amen. <clears throat> Can I get an amen in the house? Amen. There we go. Come on now. The, the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11, God says this. He said, I know, and he's speaking to every one of us. 
and people out in the world that don't know him, I know the plan that I have for you, says the Lord. A lot of people spend a lot of money and seek and search and all of that to find out what their will and what the destination is for their life. Well, I'm going to tell you, God's got it. Say, God's got it. God's got it. <clears throat> In Jesus' name.